everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare related and everything else along the way. You guys, I just uploaded a vlog um, showing when I went to Philadelphia. Of course it was dramatic, it was intense and I take skincare shopping very seriously. Do I have the best look at Sephora all the time? No, but you know this is an ongoing, if you haven't been watching my channel, I always have issues with Sephora. I have very love, I have a very big love-hate relationship with Sephora, but moving on. At the end of that video, I had said that I was going to do another video showing my luxury haul from what I bought that day at the King of Prussia Mall, Sephora, Blue Mercury, so let's get started. You guys, I only have three items that I had bought, but that's enough. If you know what I mean. This is a luxury haul, so, you know, I can't go on this gigantic spree like I'd like to, because, girl, look, I gotta balance out my coin. Let's get started with the first product that I had bought, and you guys, this is the product that I bought after having my breakdown. I have to do it. What do I do? What do I do? It is the La Mer The Cleansing Gel. I had purchased this item with a gift card that I won for free at Sephora. I do have an upcoming video on how I did that it's coming soon because I filmed the process. So here the product is in its bottle. You guys, this is my favorite cleanser and I just, I had to do a repeat buy just because, um, you know what? The packaging on this is even sturdier. Do they like change up the packaging on this? I don't know, but it's so good, you guys, and oh, I love it. So next product that I want to show you guys, I could not get at Sephora because Sephora carries barely any, like doesn't carry all of the Lumaire products. So I had to go to Blue Mercury from this, for this one, you guys, and if you haven't guessed it already, I had purchased the Genesis de la Mer, the infused lotion right here. You guys, what shook me about their Genesis line, it, it is, is that unlike all the other la Mer products, it doesn't come in the green packaging. These products are infused with crystal miracle broth, not just regular miracle broth. FYI, we're obsessed with the Miracle Broth on this channel and it's like silver and it's like reflective and it's like throwing your girl for like the biggest loop. Shout out to my husband for buying this for me for Valentine's Day. Ah, he knows the way to my heart. Ooh, okay, so this is it in the box. Oh my God, I'm shook. I'm freaking, oh my God, I'm shook. Oh my God, the bottle is glass, it's heavy, it's shiny, it says Genesis right here, it's Lux, it's large and it's in charge. Oh. OMG, it comes with a pamphlet. You guys, the, none of the, all the other products come with these paper like instructions. This is like a full on Lux package. Oh my God, such a different La Mer experience. Wait, hold up, I'm shook. Quaking shook. Uh, I'm shook, I'm quaking, oh my God. Uh, uh. A new phenomenon transcends age as never before. In moments, the genesis begins. Rejuvenation becomes a reality as skin is visibly reborn, you guys. Volcanic eruption. Stay tuned. Last but not least, drum roll please. My biggest purchase of the day and I'm still shook about it. Like I'm still, like girl, I still look at it and I'm shook. So I'm just gonna bring the box over for you guys. This is what I bought at Neiman Marcus when I went to the King of Prussia Mall on Designer Lane. If you guys haven't got been to the um, King of Prussia Mall, there's like their whole upstairs is just all, like I shot it in my last vlog. It's all just high, high designer stores and I call it Luxury Lane. Um, but I did end up going into Neiman Marcus because I don't believe and I couldn't find a actual Chanel boutique in KOP Mall, K King of Prussia Mall. Only the Chanel and Neiman Marcus. That kind of sucks. King of Prussia Mall, step it up. All right, so, oh my God, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. She did, you guys. She freaking did, baby. I've been planning this purchase for a while, girl. So I'm just gonna pop the box open. Oh my God. 
you know, just some cards of authenticity. You know, a, a fresh, clean purchase. We got some dust bags. I am just going to unwrap this box. Oh my god, I'm still filming it. And I still can't believe I'm gonna film this on my channel, finally. Oh my god, oh my god. Breathtaking! We are gonna show you, get ready. Get ready, get ready for this one. Chanel Ballerina Flats in the quilted, worn calfskin leather classic flap, you guys. Oh my God. Say it with me, girl. Oh my God. Oh my God, no, I got lipstick on them. Oh my God, that leather though, that leather. You guys, I, I don't know if I've verbalized this on my channel yet, but I've been wanting the classic Hold up, I gotta hold these right. I gotta do it right, girl. Give them the respect they deserve. I've been wanting a pair of classic Chanel flats ever since I started my Chanel obsession. And now to add to my collection, I had to go with the ballerina flats. And I'm not gonna sit here and try to pretend like I'm so luxe, like, oh yeah, I got a pair of these and that's it. And yeah, I, cause I can afford Chanel flats all the time. You guys, hell no, I can't afford Chanel. Chanel flats at the drop of a hat. I hustle and I manifest these shoes and I saved my money for a while. And um, I do just, I wanna be transparent with that because there's one thing I saw at KOP that kind of disturbs me with all these designer brands and it is a ritzier area of Pennsylvania is I saw women going into these stores and even the salesmen in certain stores we're taking the magic out of buying designer. And what I mean by that is so many people try to put on a persona. as And the persona seems to be, I can afford whatever I want. Buying Chanel flats is nothing. Buying a new Chanel bag is nothing. Louis Vuitton, I buy that like once a week. Like you could tell these people, like I was in Gucci and I was like eyeing up some things. And I saw this woman pick up a bag and she's like, she asked the guy, she's like, how much is this? And he's like, $2,000. She goes, that's it? You guys, what, that's it? That's $2,000. That's a lot of freaking money. You gotta be classy. All right, but I feel like this world, especially with social media, is so, so fake. And only a minor group of people in this world could really say, yeah, I buy Chanel flats in my sleep. And that's like celebrities, like a huge business people, like multi-millionaires. For the average person, I'm sorry, buying a pair of Chanel flats isn't just a, a whatever moment. It's a freaking moment and a half. And even if you are wealthy, like really wealthy, where you could afford this stuff, no problem, it still should be looked at as a moment of like, holy shit. I just bought a pair of $795 shoes and I'm so grateful. I don't see gratitude in people. I don't see thankfulness in people anymore. And I'm talking the shopping community, the designer community, the skincare community, and just in general, like people just aren't grateful and it bothers me. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm so grateful for, I mean, the fact that I could even have a skincare channel dedicated to La Mer and like products on these level, this level. You guys don't think I'm not woke to my thankfulness. Buying designer is magical, period. If you are a fashion lover and some people don't get it, you know, some people just don't fully get the whole designer craze. Some people um, would call people, somebody like me crazy for spending that amount of money on things that I like. Um, I'm, I mean, I still get crucified for it and I'm not even gonna go down that route because it's quite frankly nobody's business how anybody spends their money. And if we wanted your opinion, we, we'd be asking for it. But baby, we're like, we're not. And we're not ashamed to express um, our luxury ways also on this channel because one, when it comes to this stuff, my philosophy is this. Be proud of what you bought. Be grateful for what you have. That's rule number one. Rule number two is 
don't listen to the people who try to bring you down because you like luxury things. I feel like there was such an era where people would view luxury lovers as stuck up that fe people feel it necessary to bring luxury lovers down a peg. And quite frankly, I don't think that's very nice because we don't comment on the stuff that you buy. So don't comment on the stuff that we buy. You manifest and you do what you need to do to get what you want in this life. I feel like when people express their designer love and their love for luxury things, we get put down a lot. And that's kind of why I started this channel because I got tired of watching everybody put down La Mer because of how much it is and bash it. And oh, you can find things that's better at the drugstore like Nivea cream. Girl, no, you can't. And I came on here to say, you guys, it's okay to love luxury things. It's okay to splurge on things you love because what good is life if you're not experiencing the things that you want in love? And it's okay to love designer luxury things. And on that note, I'm ending. You guys can roast me. You guys can talk shit behind my back. I don't really care. It is what it is. Don't bring your hate to me. Don't bring your hate to my family. Don't bring your hate to my channel. Everybody, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Comment down below and share your favorite luxury purchases or things that, you know, is a goal that you could set for yourself because that's what I, I do. I don't, I am not a multimillionaire. So like, I can't just go, but you know, I set goals for myself. So that's what I want you guys to take away. Set a goal. If nothing is impossible. If you want something, make it a priority and put it out in the universe. Everybody love you. Have a safe, luxe, happy day. Bye.